a real quick one. Back from the stealth hike, and I just want to show you what I do after I get home from a hike, and it includes everything you're about to see here. First of all, empty out the rucksack. Now, the only thing I didn't get out was the sleeping bag, because I did a pretty good job of that inside the tent. But everything else is out. I learned a couple lessons out there. Ziploc and squeeze all the air out of my lint, number one. Number two, after working out there, it's time to sharpen the old pocket knife. I am very happy with my multi-tool in that the blade stayed very sharp the whole time. I'll probably go over it. Make order of what you got. Get that finger out of the way. I have the tent ready to go right there. Going to completely unfold it, refold it, clean it out, get the bugs out of it. Do your dishes, scrub them with soap and water, get them nice and clean, dry them out so you can put them back together again. All right, stand by. Another thought is resupplying what you have. Now, we know we use food out there, so we're going to resupply the food. But here's another thought that I wasn't really prepared this time as much as Dusty was, believe it or not. And he took all his training from me, but, and his dad. But um, here's another thing you got to do is resupply everything. And I'm specifically talking about this, this. Dusty beat me nine to five in fishing. Yeah, we counted, we were having fun. And even though they were all small, they could have fed us for a supper and a breakfast or a supper and a lunch. Uh, they, there was enough fish here in, in uh, 14 fish, even though they were small, that it would have been a good meal. Resupplying. I'm going to think about what I have in my fishing gear, think about what could be better, because he caught all his on a little spoon, a little devil, I think he called it, little something or other. And I didn't have one. Now, I had spoons, but they just weren't taking mine. So I'm going to go out and get the different ones out of my fishing box, and I'm going to resupply what I have in my rucksack. There's a thought for you. This is also a good time to go over, like I mentioned in the stealth camp done while out in the field, is if you don't need it, why take extra? We're talking things as small as towels, wash rags. How long are you going to stay? Now, I like to think of threes like I said in my one video. But still, this little wash rag turns into, and let me show you how big and how strong it is. This turns into a wash rag big enough for a guy. It's a nice big wash rag, and even though it has the guys on there from the comics, this is a very strong piece of material. It's just like the wash rag you have in your bathroom. You do a lot of cleaning up with this. In fact, I just did my dishes with it. How many do I really need? One would last three days, and I know you should have two is one, one is none. In the case of a wash rag, not critical. Nice to have, but one will do it. One roll of this would have been plenty, even for three days, maybe even a week. There's a whole lot of TP in there. The drying towels, now you saw the wash towel. These are the travel towels. These open up to about what, 10 by 10, I believe they, they say on here? Not positive, but I think it's 10 by 10. And there's plenty here to dry. Now, there's 10 towels inside here, but one roll. So this is 10 is one, <laughs> one is none. If I didn't have this whole thing, I wouldn't have any of them. Don't need to resupply, don't need to take it out. If I need it, it's there. Also, these can get wet, and you can wash off with these too. It's good for your complete body. 
trying to make this a quick video, but I'm going to show you one other thing that I do do. <laughs> fuel canisters. I always have extra fuel canisters at the house. But here's something I do to make sure I keep them in order. Number one is I number them. That's the second can I ever bought. Okay, I changed them from pounds and ounces to grams. The one I just used out in the woods stands at 41 grams. The brand new one, 81 grams. The brand new one, 81 grams. So, making sure I have enough fuel the next time I go out, this is going to be okay because I only use 10 grams of fuel. So, all I know is I'm three quarters full. Next step is my cordage. You saw that I had stuff hung in the trees, you saw that I had camouflage hung in the trees out there, and I used a lot of small cordage. Well, they were long when I started. Now my question is, do I take the short ones with me? I believe so. This is good for tying around trees, tying your rucksack up in the tree, tying camouflage around the trees. I still do have bunches of long ones for, to make a uh, ridge line. I have medium size for hanging 45 pounds of water on a tree. And I have all my small ones for hanging things from the tree like my hats, my silverware etc. One thing I forgot to use out there was bank line. So I get back and I think about it. I didn't use it. Did I need it? No, I didn't. I had plenty with the paracord that I had. So it's not heavy, a couple ounces, but it's not going with me. I do have fishing line. I have it on my, on my pack rod. It's not 60 pounds, but I'm not going after sharks. I'm going after small fish, trout, bass, sunnies, crappie bass. So I don't think I'm going to need this. This is staying home. Next step. Something needed out in the woods. Thank goodness I had a couple bags from, trash bags from uh, Blue Marsh to pick up our trash or to put our trash in after we're done eating the containers and that. But had I not had them, I would have been short carrying our trash out. So I took out the bank line, and I'm going to put in, stand by, I'm about to sneeze. All right, bless me. Found this over at one of our dollar stores. And what this is, is a continual roll of plastic that you make bags out of. You pull it out, you cut it on the little cutter they have right there. For the length of bag you need, tie a knot in the bottom, you got the top open, you have a trash bag. Plus it's plastic, just like trash bags. You can put this over top of your gear to keep it dry. You can cut it down the middle, open it up, and as a cover for whatever you need it for. Stop rain from coming in a hole in the tent or something. So, oh look at that, even got a name on it. It's called Not A Bag. So I believe the little bit of weight that this is included for me out in the woods would be a big help, having a trash bag. Okay, dishes are done. This time, my lint is in a Ziploc bag that I pressure packed it and sealed it. That goes inside this cup. This cup goes inside the pot so it's pretty well protected the lid of course the lid I put on the bottom so I'm ready to pack this away I guess you could say I said the magic word packing it away I try I try like the darndest to put everything back exactly where I got it from so I know when I get out to the woods where it's at.
I got the large area packed. Let me turn you a little bit. There we go. I got the large area packed. That's the big top zipper. Now, I got all this stuff to put away in the smaller sections. So, gotta get to work on it. Okay, you all saw me use my tree stove. Well, I didn't have enough room on this, as you saw, to put a cup next to the burner and comfortably stir my stuff, hold on to it. I'm gonna make it a little extension on the end of this, not much bigger than this. But I normally pack this in the middle, then I pack around it. What fits in there real nice is my saw, cool and saw. I can also throw all my cordage in the bottom and have plenty of room left over. So I don't want to pack that section yet. I want to fix that stove for the trees. Something I did miss out there was a flavored drink. Now, Dusty had some berry, very berry powder with him, little packets. It was good, but it was too strong. I like to take along my little Weiss, or it's called Mio. That was the first brand I ever got. This one here happens to be uh, sweet tea, and it's not sugar, but it does put a little flavor in the water, and just by two squirts, you can do 16 ounces of fluid. So I'm going to take this with me, keep it packed in there. I missed this to, on this trip. I did this to show you the selection of lures I have here, and I got a little bit of an overkill. Uh, at first, I had problems with my spinners. Now, I got CP Swing, Swiss Swing, then I have a small bass, a zero MEPS, then I have these rooster tails, I have a spoon that belongs over here, and another Swiss or sweet CP Swing. A little bit of overkill, but the way you use these, you must have snap swivels so it spins and doesn't spin your lineup. Right now I've only got one float. That's going to change. I like the weighted floats that I use that has the weight on the one end. Uh, they go down so much easier. Now I have all these little things here. My problem is I only have two small weighted hooks. I did not have enough of these, the tiny regular hooks, that when we found worms under the logs I could have used them. Way too small. They're good for bugs, but that's about it. So looking at these, I have trout magnets, and I have the grub. I have a little tail grub on them, and I have one plastic bug. Looks like a stonefly. So uh, in the first pack already, I've got my lures. As you can see, I got the regular Rapala, I got the trout colored Rapala, and I have the little blue rainbow type Rapala. Also in here are my flies. There's one popper. I'm going to leave that in there for on top. I've got my flies. I've got a weighted fly there. So all in this area here, my, my uh, jigs, they're going to go in the second container. Uh, I don't know if I want to make a third container or not with all my spinners. Don't know if I want to mix them with the rubber or not. But um, I still have enough room for everything in here. Just uh, got to put it together. I wanted to show you what I got and what I so that's my fishing supplies. Okay, one more item and I'm gonna let you go. I extended my table by at least four to five inches just by using the sterno pieces that I had from my old stove and hooking them in. I can now put pots on the end pots in the oven and still have my cooking area in the middle where the little pocket rocket flame comes up. So we're going to try that. I've added no weight. It folds up real nice and let me do that and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, here it is. Folded up real nice. Tied in place. This will fit right down inside the rucksack. And all the pieces of aluminum are right there. I could go around it with a strap so it doesn't go anywhere. I think I'm going to try that right now.
There it is, tied up. Ready to go out in the woods. So, that's it for after the hike. All my stuff is back together. Dishes are done. Supplies are redone. I'm ready to go again. Don't know when it's gonna be, but I'm ready to go again. So, a little joke for you. See who knows the answer to this. Does Canada celebrate the 4th of July? Let me see your answers. Comment on it. Thanks, guys. Stay strong, patient, and trust your journey.